We're now going to look at the development of simplified sewerage in Brazil. Simplified sewerage was first installed in Quadra Noventa, housing block 90 in Natal, in the northeast of Brazil, in 1981. This slide shows the conditions in housing block 90 before simplified sewerage was installed. There's a stream of wastewater, in fact mainly sullage, flowing in the lane between the houses. And this is because the only way the householders had to dispose of their sullage was simply to chuck it over the wall into the lane. This slide shows the layout of housing block 90 and the initial thoughts on where the simplified sewers would be positioned. These are shown as yellow lines and the black squares are junction boxes. This scheme was presented by the local water and sewerage company to a meeting of block residents to explain to them what the system was, how it would work and what their responsibilities would be and how much it would cost them. When the community accepted the scheme, it was then necessary to conduct house-to-house -house surveys to find out exactly how many people were in each house and therefore how much wastewater was likely to be produced. Plans had to be drawn <coughs> at a scale of between 1 in 200 and 1 in 500, so it was necessary to do some fairly detailed surveying. Some houses were below road level, which would have made conventional sewerage an impossibly expensive solution. A 100 millimetre diameter clay pipes were used simply because at that time in Natal these were cheaper than PVC pipes. And wherever there was a sewer junction, there was a brick junction box made and covered with a <coughs> thin reinforced concrete cover slab. This shows an alternative way of making junction boxes from larger diameter concrete pipes. When we look at the financial cost of the householders, and this is for Natal in the early 1980s, the capital cost was $325 per household, compared with roughly $1,500 for conventional sewerage. Kayani, the local water and sewerage company, was able to recover its costs over 30 years by surcharging the monthly water bill by only 40% rather than the 100% they use for conventional sewerage. The water charge paid by the residents was the minimum tariff, that is to say an assumed and therefore unmetered consumption of 15 cubic metres per household per month. And in 1983 the charge for that was the equivalent of 3.75 US dollars. So the surcharge for simplified sewerage was 40% of this, that is to say $1.50 per household per month in 1983. So clearly it's a low-cost sanitation solution. This is Brasilia, the capital of Brazil, where the local water and sewerage company has been using simplified sewerage in poor and rich areas. And here we see a very rich area, Lago Sul, being served with simplified sewerage. The junction box they use is a plastic sewer junction box and these are very cheap when they're bought in bulk. They're made locally in the south of Brazil and they cost about five US dollars. Operation and maintenance of the simplified sewer network in Brasilia is done with a water jet unit mounted in a commercial van. If there's a blockage in the sewer then a high velocity water jet is introduced at the junction box just upstream of the blockage and the blockage is then jetted down the sewer to the next junction box where it's caught and removed. Finally we're going to look at the reasons why simplified sewerage is now so widely used throughout Brazil. It was developed in the early 1980s by the research and development section of Cayeni, the state water and sewerage company of the state of Rio Grande do Norte in the northeast of Brazil as a solution to the up to then intractable problem of sanitation in its peri-urban areas. Cayenne's success with condominial sewerage in Natal was presented at the 1983 ABIS Congress. ABIS is the Brazilian Association of Sanitary and Environmental Engineers. And this was followed by technical papers published in ABIS's journal, Engineeria Sanitaria, Sanitary Engineering. 
The Kayani project in Natal was then evaluated by the Brazilian TAG office of the UNDP World Bank Low Cost Sanitation Project. And the resulting positive evaluation led to the establishment of the ABIS Low Cost Sanitation Committee between 1983 and 1986 and the production in 1986 of the Brazilian Design Manual for Simplified Sewerage. This in turn led to the adoption of a minimum sewer diameter of 100 millimetres in the 1986 revision of the Brazilian National Sewerage Design Code. Before then, the minimum diameter was 150 millimetres. The early designs by Cayenne used a minimum self-cleansing velocity. The design based on a minimum tractive tension of one pascal was introduced by state water companies in the south of Brazil, in the states of Sao Paulo and Paraná, in 1985, and this was also included in the 1986 revision of the National Sewerage Design Code, as was the minimum peak flow of 1.5 litres per second. The 1975 version of the National Sewerage Design Code had already included Macedo's basic design concept, where we designed the sewer gradient for the flow at the start of the design period and the sewer diameter for the flow at the end. And this is important for simplified sewerage because in peri-urban areas in Brazil, QF can often be up to five times QI. There are three final reasons why simplified sewerage has been adopted so widely in Brazil. Firstly, because it's very easy to disseminate new technologies throughout Brazil at Abbas's biennial congresses. Secondly, with simplified sewerage, there were a few very good, very committed, and politically very well connected low-cost sanitation engineers. And thirdly, the positive interest in simplified sewerage shown by the World Bank acted within Brazil to give it a seal of international approval.